office is Dr. Michael Cohen with Belcara Health Plastic Surgery. Good morning. Thanks for being here. You're very welcome. This has been all over the news lately. And right. so I guess the big question is, is, should women with breast implants start freaking out? Yeah, absolutely not. This has been known for about 20 years, and uh, we're in the process of gathering cases in two different registries, one with the FDA and one with our plastic surgical societies. It's so rare and so uh, unusual that uh, when a case is uh, suspected, it's reported, and um, we're currently gathering a lot of information. But women should not be frightened or scared. Breast implants are still very, very important tools in breast reconstruction as sure. well as aesthetic plastic surgery. It, so I was reading, it's not technically a cancer of the breast because it's in between where the implant and the breast is? Yeah, absolutely right. It's a cancer of the lymph system and um, it's involving the capsule or the covering around breast implants. So it's again more associated with the textured implants. Uh, so far, even though the FDA reported some cases with smooth, they've not yet been confirmed and we believe that it's really associated with the textured implant which is not as common or as popular to be used as the smooth implant. Now, have they mainly found this um, happening with women who have gone in to have either a new implant put in or one taken out? Is that when they're usually discovering it? No, that's a great question. It's usually when people have noticed a change. Okay. So swelling, lumps, pain, uh, increased uh, swelling, a change, a major change that a woman would notice and uh, bring to her physician's attention. That would necessitate a, a workup, which typically involves an ultrasound, sometimes taking some fluid, and then uh, a workup from there. But if it's detected early, it's very treatable, very curable, typically involves removing the implant, removing the capsule, and many of those women undergo additional augmentation to have a new one placed after they've been treated. So what should women with implants look out for at this point? Change, pain, lumps, swelling, um, any acute change, and it often happens very late in the game after they've had their implants for many, many years, and again, more associated with the textured implant, not with the smooth, and not with um, anything else. All right, yeah. that's great information. Thank you so much You're for coming welcome. in this Thank morning. Nice me. to meet you.